Hi, I'm Azola Khalo and I'm a careers advisor at the Career Service at the University of Cape Town. We consult students from all faculties, but one of the most frequently asked questions is from students studying humanities who are unsure of what their career options are. As careers advisors, we see the variety of contexts our humanities graduates work in, in management positions, in creative spaces, and in social impact jobs. So we interviewed some UCT humanities graduates to give you a glimpse of how varied and exciting your options can be. What is valuable about studying in the humanities? So really what makes the humanities unique is in the name itself. It puts human beings at the center of all of our problem solving. It offers you lenses in which to analyze and see things. You're really focusing on the why behind how the world works, what dominant structures they are. And about dissecting society as a, as a whole. It's about questioning the political side of things. It's about looking at the, the socioeconomic structure of, of a space. I had courses in psychology and politics and courses and that were a lot more wider that then opened my mind to some other aspects that I'd never ever got exposure to. So whether I was writing an essay for social anthropology or uh, writing an essay for economic history, it was about how those courses taught me to think. You know, studying in the humanities means that you study in an interdisciplinary way, so you're also exposed to a wide range of things. So in my undergrad, I was able to study everything from, you know, film analysis to French studies to Isi Kosa, and for me it gave me a really wide understanding of the world. How did studying your degree prepare you for the work you do? In every single one of my jobs, what was required was the ability to have a lot of knowledge about many different things. Understanding problems, how to frame a problem, and then also then for yourself, how to break it down into manageable sizes so that you can start to tackle it. One thing that the humanities degree in general offers you is a versatility. Uh, the ability and the flexibility that comes with it of being able to do as much as you can. So that offers me also an opportunity to be responsible for my timetable. If you're going to take more than that, that means you're equally responsible now to having a diary. And I will then later on learn project management skills, uh, writing skills, presentation skills, which all are soft, undervalued, but critically important skills when you're about to present yourself to the world of work. You have an advantage of being part of figuring out ways to make workplaces more inclusive and equitable. Besides your studies, what else did you do that added skills that you use in your work? Outside of UCT, I was very involved in my community uh, with youth development work where I um, ran some programs in my community, partnered with different organizations, churches, the community. That gave me some planning skills, gave me leadership skills. So I think that complemented um, you know, some of the studies and uh, you know, my overall skill sets that I was busy building. I would say the primary thing that added to my humanities degree and has supported me being successful is relationship currency, understanding the power of building relationships that then support you in whatever advances you're trying to make. So with the suite of work experience, like participating in societies at university, that I think is what equally set me apart from many of my peers, because I've not just come with my transcripts, but I also came with a plethora of experiences. So I was at UCT Radio, doing that UCT Radio gig, taught me how to perform conversations well and think about them as an art form and do them in a way that was compelling, that it developed charisma and, and interpersonal skills that was certainly has been massively helpful to my career. Um, I probably think the biggest would have been tutoring. Those skills really helped me in terms of just building my relationships and my network with my lecturers, which helped me post-university in terms of applying for masters, funding, um, looking for work, um, to listen, to pay attention. Those are all skills that I got from tutoring. What advice would you give for current humanities students? Network with the people around you and hold them close to you, especially the people you work well with now and you know you work well with them. Move forward by you know approaching people who you, whose work you admire. Get involved with things that are happening in your neighborhood, things that are happening in your own city, and think locally but also internationally. Your career is is an evolving one and, and it's a long one. So the first job that you take will not necessarily be the only job you have or will not necessarily be the only field that you work in. And I think that's a beauty of a humanities degree, that there is space to grow and evolve. And 
it'll only really be in the jobs that you take where you start to learn on the job what what you're interested in. Force yourself out of your comfort zone, joining different activities, um, meet different people, and surround yourself with people who are like-minded, who also force you to think differently about how you navigate um, your space and not just people that see a career path as a one-dimensional road, uh, because it's so multifaceted. Is is value in coming from a humanities degree we really need to own that and be proud of it. A humanities degree provides a springboard into many work options, but a degree alone is not enough, and this is true of most degrees. Make sure you're developing employability skills in other contexts like part-time and voluntary work, student leadership, and sport and cultural activities. But most importantly, own your career journey and proactively find the right context for you to find fulfilling work and where you can make a difference.